welcome or welcome back to my channel for another video and today we have a uh, bringing all of my past Boa journal themes I saw a lot of these videos and I finally think that after two complete years and a few months I have enough themes for this video to have a purpose um, so I'm gonna go through all of my past themes uh, starting January of 2020, uh, the first month that I ever did. And I will go uh, chronologically through all of my themes and rank them from 1 to 5. <laughs> So for my ranking system, I decided to go uh, from 1 to 5, 1 being the absolute worst idea I have ever had or like it didn't turn out good at all. 2 will be not the worst thing but also not good. 3 will be it was okay but I won't do it again. Four will be, it was a great idea and I will do it again. And five, absolute favorite. So I moved a bit out of the way so I can put pictures of all of the themes uh, as I go through all of them. Um, just to note that the first few months uh, will probably not be great. Uh, it took me a while to really figure out what I wanted to do, um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. I was a beginner and I never did the journal before, so yeah, and also I won't be going through the themes that I went with for my yearly setups, uh, only for the monthly. So let's jump straight into this video with January of 2020 and my theme was snowflake slash snow slash winter. I didn't really keep up with a consistent theme except doing snowflakes and I had um, snow in as in my mood tracker but uh, didn't really go into any kind of theme really. Um, so that one is a definitely one, um, it was not good at all and I think it's, it's fair because it was my first month. And then we have February 2020 which was heart theme and I'm gonna give it a 2 just because the cover page and the quote that I did were really pretty. But also the rest of it was pretty much trash and not not really pretty and except using pink I didn't really stick with my theme. So just for that but it does get a 2. My next theme was Space for March. I have a special place in my heart for this one. I did a purple color scheme and like space doodles. It was my first month that I thought that it was actually cute. Um, I'm gonna give it a 2 though because except for like a few things it was still my beginning. I wasn't really good but it was still pretty cute for a beginning. And then we have April which was bunny theme and this one get, uh, gets a 4. I, I was in love with those bunnies. They were so cute. I don't know how I did them, but they were so cute. Like my mood tracker was absolutely everything. Loved it, absolutely. I think I will do it again. I didn't do it for this year, maybe next year though, because I loved it, absolutely loved it. And then we have May, which was an absolute disaster. It was birthday theme, um, but I wasn't really, I don't know, I didn't give it my full heart I think um so I'm gonna give it a one even though like it was a cute idea but I didn't do it a very good job at actually making it and I did try and like make amend to it by doing for uh this year May theme uh, a baking theme but uh baking supplies so I guess I'm making amend to it now <laughs> 
Our next theme was cherries for June and that was the first month that I committed to it like absolutely committed to it and I was in love with it it's the first month that I absolutely love so for that one I'm gonna give it a four I loved it um, super cute love the ride didn't think I would strange in love <laughs> I wear red right now but it's not really one of my favorite colors so I was not really sure about it and I loved it and then we have um, July which was ice cream theme and I never really completed it that much because I ended up in the hospital um, that's the month that uh, I celebrate my paralysis anniversary and I ended up in the emergency room with my body completely paralyzed so it's an awful um, like it's really not that well done but the theme was cute so I'm gonna give it a three just because it wasn't really well done but I would do the theme again and then we had August which was more watermelon which I didn't really finish again I was really depressed and not really in the mood to do it so I didn't really do it but the theme was cute so I'm gonna give it a three as well um, I definitely had a thing for bread back then and then for uh, September I was getting back to it and I did one of my favorite themes which is music and music notes um, and it's an absolute favorite I'm giving it a five because I also redid it um, the next year so I absolutely love it uh, then we had Halloween which was a disaster I'm gonna give it a two and then we had forest theme for um, November and that's a one I really didn't love it and then we have December 2020 which is the first setup that I did on camera for you guys uh, the first one that I recorded and I'm gonna give it a three it was Christmas theme it's not anything crazy but it was super cute and it's obviously a staple theme for December and then moving on to 2021 um, the first month was penguin theme and that is one of my tried and true favorite theme I just loved one drawing the penguins and it was so cute I give it a five easily loved it um, just really one of my favorite themes and the blue also did came out really good surprisingly then we had puppy theme for February because I got my dog that month um, but uh, honestly I hated this theme I thought it was a good like idea but also like not a good idea so no I really didn't like that one so for that one I'm gonna give it a two it was a mess and then for March we had coffee theme which was my first month using watercolor and I loved it that's a five it's one of my favorite themes uh, honestly it looked so cute and then we had April which was koala theme uh, this one I'm gonna give it a four it's still one of my favorites but also it was a bit of a mess and a really hard theme to do also all in watercolor um, the weekly spread weren't that great so that's why I'm um, making it a little bit lower and then we had crystal crystal theme uh, on, on a purple color scheme for May which was also watercolor I had a thing um, and for that one I'm gonna give it a four it's a little bit overdue I think it's one of my favorites but it's overdue I think crystal theme even though it was still cute and then I had beehives for June um, also I would give it a four it was a cute theme I loved it the color scheme was everything but um, it was a mess making it was like a mess and it was a lot of details and it was super time consuming so because of that I'm uh, giving it a lower score and then I have a few of my favorites in a row because I had origami theme for July I 
was in love with this theme it was like pastels and just so cute uh so that one is a five it's just i loved it and then i redid the music theme because i didn't think i did it justice the first time so i redid the music theme and i was even more in love with it so absolute absolute five no questions and then for September I decided to go with a light bulb theme and I just loved it. It was super aesthetic and the trackers were like my favorite thing of all. Once they were filled in and all that, the yellow was so good. I don't know, I just loved it and I when I made it I was like, oh I'm not gonna like it and I loved it. So for that it will be a five as well. And continuing with my fives, I had potion theme for October, so it was like witchy potion theme. I loved it. It was purple and did a watercolor also as well, and just, it was perfect. I loved that theme, uh, and I would gladly do it again. Maybe I will do it for like February next year, but as a low potion theme, that's a good idea. I'm gonna... I'm gonna write it down after this video and then for November I did a book theme bookshelf theme which is my one of my most viewed videos on this channel and I loved it it was so cute super hard to make but it was so cute and I'm gonna give it a five because I loved it and I loved using it and all of that it was so cute and then for December, I tried something different and did orange and cinnamon theme. I was uh, recommended it, well, like I asked on social media, like what theme idea you had. And I was given that and I thought, oh, that's so cool. Um, it was cool, but I was not in love with it. So that's why I'm going to give it a four. And then we are for this year already and the first theme of the month, um, of the year, sorry, was Moon Phases, all in black and white. Super cute, loved it, but only four because, I don't know, black and white wasn't really my thing, I think. It was a good thing to try, but I probably won't do it that much. For February, I did love letter theme. I really loved it, but also, I don't know, I'm not in love with it, so it's gonna be a four for that one. Um, it was still a really cute theme. I really enjoyed the color scheme of it, but yeah, it's not my favorite. And then for March, I did a plant theme, which I really liked and it was really cute but I'm gonna give it a three just because it's overdue like I was kind of a, in a creative block so I did like a generic theme I feel like and I could have done it better I feel like I was not really creative so it didn't turn out the best and then we had Cherry Blossom and Minimalist Butterflies for April. This one is an absolute tried and true favorite. It, uh, it is a five for me. I just love it so much. And then to end this, we have May, which is, as I said earlier, baking supply themed. Um, I do like that one, but I don't know. I focused on the fact that it's my birthday and I love baking but it's not my favorite theme I've ever done it's really cute but maybe not the best so I'm gonna give it a three I think the color scheme is cute the doodles are cute but honestly not my favorite thing I've ever done so yeah that concludes all of my previous themes or ranking I'm gonna show like a little cute table with like all of the rankings right now um so you can actually see how many are in each category and that's pretty much gonna be it for this video 
so i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more definitely subscribe for more i do one bullet journal video a week on saturdays and two other lifestyle video whether it be vlogs or any other type of content which i post on tuesdays and thursdays and just follow me if you want to see more ring the bell because i do uh post pretty frequently so you don't miss one and i will see you guys in the next one bye